Well, it's one of the biggest and most controversial construction sites in the nation. Of course, we're talking about the Second Avenue subway project. And because it is such a fiery subject, the MTA has opened a new community information center. It's going to address those questions for folks living there, working around the project, and everyone in between. And I'm hoping at the Chamber of Commerce you can talk about who this is really for, who this information center will be benefiting. Is it people living here, tourists, or what type of information will they receive? Well, it's a little bit of everybody. It's mm -hmm. people living there. It's uh, school children who will come in. We actually have a wonderful art exhibit being uh, hung there now, uh, the Eastside Middle School. We had uh, students draw pictures of what they envisioned the subway stops to look like. Okay. Uh, we're going to have business meetings there for all the small business owners. We're going to have a series of networking events, business to business networking events, educational events for business owners, and also the tourists that come to the east side and go to the museums and may walk over to see what's going on. There's great history at the site, mm -hmm. lots and lots of really great information and videos. Hi, my name is Marcus Samuelson, and I'm so privileged to be here. Uh, today, I am the lucky winner of Restaurateur of the Year. I think it's absolutely fantastic that Manhattan Chambers of Commerce has this way of bringing people together, business, but more than anything, people. People are passionate about New York. Um, it's a great way of networking. It's a great way of uh, meeting, finding new ways of meeting people in an ever-changing climate and it's a diverse group of people that is very welcoming so I'm very fortunate to represent Red Rooster and thank you for having me. Good morning all. So sorry that I can't be with you in person but I did want to take a moment to talk about my dear friend Danny Meyer. Truly one of the greats in the travel, tourism, hospitality and restaurant industry. Last year New York City had 52 million visitors, a record. And I will tell you that many of them came because they wanted to experience a Danny Meyer restaurant. And I can think of no better person to get the 2012 Manhattan Chamber of Commerce New Yorker Award than you, Danny Meyer. But when I do see you, I'm going to give you a big kiss and a big hug. Congratulations. Well, what John doesn't know is he's going to see me at the Super Bowl on Sunday. I'm going to hold him to that kiss. <laughs> I can't wait for that. I don't think I've ever been so happy to have someone not present. That was, you know, he, he had to rehearse that thing. So that, that was pretty good. What the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce does so brilliantly is to connect dots uh, by connecting people. And, you know, you've heard the old saw that a rising tide lifts all boats. That's what happens with a group like this. Each one of you helps one another to make this a better, better city. And I was looking uh, at the amazing group of people who have uh, been awarded this morning and realized how many dots there are in my own life. So, so here's what I think about Lean In. Despite the fact that the words say, you know, you don't have to be a certain way and behave a certain way and act a certain way, I actually think between the lines all the way through, there is a suggestion of a, of a way to be and a kind of behavior. There's an aggressiveness to it that I think I ask my own view is it's all about authenticity. It is, you got to be who you are. Yeah. And it, first of all, it works. But second of all, it's life is hard enough without trying to pretend to be some, you know, pounding the table, obnoxious, uh, difficult person. Manhattan Chamber of Commerce has really given my business and other businesses as well opportunities to really put a foothold into Manhattan and be a part of the community, not just run a business. Given their networking, their education, their resources, and the people who are really passionately involved in helping local businesses, uh, it's not a question of whether you should be a, a member of the Manhattan Chamber of Commerce. For us, it's a question of how deeply can we help with initiatives uh, and help every all the good things that they're doing. It's great. <laughs>